Bradley Bentley Bags to Bloom by Candice Bit. Bradley Bentley Bags to Bloom would never ever clean his room. He simply dropped things on the floor and left them there forevermore. And even if his parents yelled, complaining that his bedroom smelled, and told them, Bradley Bentley Bloom, go get a bucket and a broom and bring them back and clean a room. He just refused to pick things up. So every coat or coat or cup or Christmas card or candy cane that hit the floor would just remain. It only took a little while before he had a massive pile of dirty clothes and greasy plates and dust encrusted roller skates and tattered toys and grimy games and broken bits of picture frames and rumpled rags and rusty keys and crumpled bags and cracked CDs and stuff he'd never seen before on every inch of bedroom floor. And even as the clutter grew with one more muddy cruddy shoe or old moldy pear or plum or sloppy glob of chewing gum or burst balloon of flattened hat or battered book or baseball bat or worn and torn a magazine, still Bradley Bloom would never clean. He didn't even seem to care as rubbish covered up his chair, his desk, his bookcase and his bed and piled up higher than his head until at last there wasn't room enough to breathe for Bradley Bloom. His parents heard him scream and shout and try but couldn't get him out because the garbage on the floor had filled the room and blocked the door. His parents wailed and tore their hair. His gran, his teacher wept in deep despair. His gran and grandpa grieved and groaned. His siblings sobbed. His classmates moaned. His friends all whimpered. Bradley, Bradley, Please come back. We miss you badly. Poor Bradley Bentley Baxter Bloom unfortunately met his doom. So children, if I may assume you don't want to me to do like Bradley Bentley Baxter Bloom, go get a bucket and a broom and bring them back and clean your room. Thank you.